Fannie Mae is well known for its delicious and decadent chocolate treats. Many people grew up eating their amazing confections. This amazing Fannie Mae vanilla buttercream candy recipe is just like the famous buttercreams Fannie Mae is well known for. This buttercream recipe is easy to make and requires no baking experience. It is designed to be eaten as candy, as a small amount of the buttercream is covered in chocolate, making tasty truffles. These buttercream balls are great to share with your family and friends, that is if you don't eat them all first. Buttercream candy, what is Fannie Mae? Fannie Mae is a retail store that specializes in fine chocolate. It was opened back in 1920 in Chicago by chocolate lover H. Teller Archibald. Fannie Mae soon rose to popularity, as they use only the finest ingredients in their chocolate confections. In 1920, Fannie Mae developed their famous buttercreams. They immediately became a hit and are still one of the most popular chocolates they sell. They consist of a smooth, creamy vanilla center covered in a decadent chocolate shell. Fannie Mae currently makes over 100 different delicious confections. They include caramel, mint, chocolate, nuts, and marshmallow fillings in their crafted chocolates. They have chocolates to meet all your favorite sweet combinations. Fannie Mae chocolates can be found in stores and online. They have become a popular holiday tradition among many families. They also offer a fundraising program to help raise money for different causes in communities. What you will need for this buttercream candy. Ingredients. Half cup butter softened. Three ounces cream cheese, softened. One and a half teaspoons vanilla. Four cups powdered sugar, or a substitute. For the chocolate coating. Two cups semi-sweet chocolate chips. Two tablespoons shortening. Buttercream candy step-by-step -step instructions. Step one. In a large bowl, Using an electric mixer, mix the butter and cream cheese on medium speed. Step 2. Add the vanilla and mix until the ingredients are fully combined. Gradually add the powdered sugar at low speed until the ingredients are fully mixed. Step 3. Shape the buttercream into rounded balls, 1 inch in size. Place the balls onto the wax paper, loosely cover, and refrigerate for 2 hours or overnight. Step 4. In a saucepan, melt the chocolate and shorten it over low heat. Stir constantly and heat for 3 to 4 minutes, or until fully melted. You may also microwave the chocolate and shortening at 30 second intervals, stirring each time, until fully melted. Step 5. Take the buttercream balls and carefully dip them into the chocolate using a fork. Turn the buttercream balls over in the chocolate to fully coat, let the remaining chocolate drip off. Place them onto a waxed paper-lined baking sheet to let them set. Refrigerate buttercreams for at least half an hour before serving. Tips and Tricks To take these delicious buttercream chocolates to the next level, you can decorate them with chocolate shavings and sprinkles before the chocolate hardens. You can also melt white chocolate then mix in different food colors, if you desire, and splatter over top of truffles using a fork. This allows you to customize your buttercreams to your desire. These buttercream truffles are also a popular Easter dessert. You can form them into an egg shape and decorate them with spring-colored sprinkles or spring-colored white chocolate. This makes an easy and festive treat for Easter. You can store these buttercreams at room temperature for up to three days in an airtight container. You may also store it in the fridge for one week and in the freezer for three months. You can also substitute the vanilla extract out for almond, orange, or rum extract. This will still give the buttercream the same consistency, just a slightly different taste. Make sure to allow the butter and cream cheese to soften before making the buttercream. If they aren't softened, they will not allow the buttercream to reach proper consistency and may cause curdling. You also want to make sure that the butter and cream cheese aren't melted, as it will cause the buttercream to be runny. It is best to use the brick form of cream cheese. Whipped cream cheese and spreadable cream cheese will not have the same consistency as the brick form. The brick form of cream cheese also has the lowest level of water. When making the truffles, make sure to dip the buttercream balls right after melting the chocolate. The chocolate will begin to harden within a few minutes of being melted. 
If your chocolate begins to harden while you are dipping your truffles, you can heat it in the microwave in 10 second intervals until it is all melted again. Instead of swirling the buttercream balls around in the chocolate, either carefully turns them over with a fork or use a spoon to cover the truffle in chocolate. Swirling the truffle around may cause it to fall apart. Make sure to use wax paper or parchment paper when making the buttercream balls. Otherwise, the chocolate will stick to other surfaces and be hard to get off. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.